badly the performance. Any other application which doesn't have large transaction throughput like banking or ATM, you can use virtualization and cloud. That means we are talking of a large sector, if not at least 60% of the entire application gamut. No statistically detectable overhead has been found due to virtualization. In fact, there are many other advantages. Sometimes CPU bound jobs can be faster with virtualization if they are not IO bound jobs, as I already said. Next. So there are still open issues governance, security, privacy, control, SLS. There are multiple cloud vendors. Across vendors, there is no interoperability. Vendor lock in is possible. Next. These are some of the issues which are still open. And security is an issue. If you don't host it in your own premise, you have no guarantee of the security. You have to trust the vendor. And lock-in and loss of control, cost will go down definitely. Simplicity, because you have gotten rid of your headaches to somebody else. It is like almost like outsourcing the IT infrastructure to someone else. And big businesses may not accept this model. They want to have their own. They can go for a private cloud, like NAC did for the government. Next. Government cannot go for a public cloud because government cannot put its data in a foreign country because that country could be Pakistan or China or India, which cannot be accepted. So there is a battle in the cloud. Amazon Web Services is the leader in the infrastructure as a service. And in the platform as a service, Google App Engine is a leader. It gives uh, certain free resources. Next. And HP, IBM, Oracle, Dell, they are all still in the process. Aneka is a company, uh, is a product made by a professor in Australia. His name is uh, Rajkumar Bhuya, and he's from near Hyderabad. And it provides a platform as a service functionality for multitasking, multithreading, and MapReduce. MapReduce is nothing but Hadoop kind of large scale parallel processing applications. So all .NET applications which are meant for these three different domains can be developed very fast and will have performance uh, advantages if you use Aneka. Next. So in NIC, we have gone for uh, Eucalyptus Cloud Infrastructure Service Cloud. And we are also going for the grid based cloud based on Globus. Earlier, we had deployed a grid also. And for platform as a service, we are going to recommend Aneka and Google App Engine. Next. So within NIC, there's a lot of uh, demand for this kind of an internal use because we have a serious problem of infrastructure at the remote locations like districts, blocks, and villages where there's no power at all. Thanks to the deficiency of power in the country, uh, most villages don't have power. In fact, they get power only two hours in the, in the midnight or something. So we cannot run any computers. So in that kind of situation, we have a project called ePanchayat where we have put the computers in the panchayat offices and only in major panchayats, which have power. So even from there, it is possible to access a server because you cannot install a server in any case, let alone in a village, you cannot install it even in a district or a block or a mandal very easily because there's no reliability of the power and infrastructure becomes very complex in terms of space and all that. So virtual servers can be accessed by our NIC district offices or future block functionalities next. And NIC cloud services can be offered to central government departments, public sector things for their own utilization on a chargeable basis. We have, we have large data centers, we have hundreds of servers. We have thousands of terabytes of storage, right now mostly physically being used, but we have started the cloud initiative with limited switchover from the physical to the virtual in the cloud. Next. Like for example, in a secretariat, you can provide one server to each department without installing any servers. You can have a data center, and virtual servers can be provided through the infrastructure as a service cloud. State data centers are being set up in all states on the funding of DIT. NIC also has its own data centers. So we are trying to deploy cloud in all these data centers. Next. Of course, uh, in NIC cloud initiative, we have uh, two different functionalities. One is infrastructure as a service and the platform. The other is the software as a service. We have many projects like e-procurement, payroll, which can be switched over to the software as a service model. Next. So the advantages are we'll be saving hundreds of crores of rupees by switching over to the cloud functionality in all the three layers. Next. 
multiplication effect will be there and we are already in the process of building next that's all i conclude here and i'll be happy to answer any question yes use of uh, hello hmm. uh, this is uh, cloud computing hmm. in case of process plants process control hmm. uh, majority of the controls happened at the cpu level in the plant now with the help of cloud computing if i have a soft plc or soft dcs sort of thing yeah please keep your mic closer yeah hmm. yeah with the uh, help of cloud computing hmm. it can be a private for example ntpc and all that and if you have a soft plc or soft dcs sort of thing which is uh, available on the cloud and the process plant uh, uh, provides the information over there and then gets control from cloud is it uh, possible to have then th that will reduce the dependency on where the where is the dcs software located uh, presently it is in the plant only yes because uh, this is all uh, uh, like scada softwares and all that they yes. are in the plant yes and uh, what are problems we generally face is upgrade of hardware upgrade of software and then it, it's a cost for the uh, company So no, no, if you have if you have a data center the, where you can load that software then it if it can be operated from there it is possible. otherwise if it is a real time thing which is with all connections to various instrumentations and various uh, power systems components then it is not possible and don't go for a public cloud it is not possible it is not possible and I the second uh, second question was uh, yes. this related to the security yes uh, uh, because uh, the data is available to the servers and uh, in that case how uh, the replication and backups many times we take backups of the uh, uh, software and all that uh, uh, or data in the plant in case of cloud computing how how it is done yes uh, good question you see in case of cloud computing there as i said there are two possibilities one is a private cloud which is run on your own company's data centers which is in your own hands other is a public cloud which is run by a company like amazon or microsoft somewhere else in the world so there are two possibilities so in the case of the first possibility you have to make provisions just like a normal data center for the dr also you have to keep the backups you have to in a remote location like we are having the dr center for uh, nic delhi which is supporting uh, all the ministries in delhi at hyderabad so in a different location you keep a copy you keep on copying everything continuously that is where it is done so in the case of second model when the vendor is doing everything he will himself do all that you don't have to do anything yes any other question i think uh, we plan to have a panel discussion after the next presentation okay. with all the speakers maybe we can take some more questions i request andy to give a moment to to mr prabhu please we had planned panel discussions every day at the end of the session so like that today also we plan to have the panel discussion i know i'll request uh,